Now introducing Dr. Njakari Damages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome to the show. My name is Dr. Damages. We are coming to you from the greatest city in the world, New York City. New York is so great that one in every four people you see in a train is there to pick the pocket of the other three. This is our 40th show. Whoa. Yes, yes. We are getting there. This is how I found out. Last night, while watching the African movie channel, I discovered this ad. You watch. Baron's World Entertainment and Trace TV present... The African Kings of Comedy, the best from all over Africa. Loiso Gola, Indomiso Lindy, Daliso Shapanda, Eric Omundi, and of course, Basket Mouth. I go die, Bobby, Butchie, OK Bakasi, I go save, SIM card, and so many more. Music by Flavor. The big story this week is that President Obama has thrown his support for same-sex marriage. He made this known in an interview with ABC News. Mm. This shift in position baffles most of his supporters. Obama said that his opinion on gay marriage has evolved. Mm. Right. Please, there must be a better way for Obama to prove that he's not a Kenyan-born socialist who secretly goes to the mosque every Friday. Right. It's like saying that the President Jonathan has shifted his support from damn patient Jonathan to Miss Desiane Alison Madeke. <laughs> That will not make Boko Haram to love him. No, no. <laughs> Talking about presidents, France elected a new president last weekend. Yes. Yeah. Nicolas Sarkozy is out, mm. and a socialist who supports gay marriage is in. Mm. See how slow French people are. They are doing in 2012 something America did in 2008. I on the street of Paris last Sunday, people were dancing and singing, Sarkozy, c'est fini, Sarkozy, c'est fini. Yeah. <laughs> the Council on the Promotion of Pidgin English in Nigeria is busy working on the Pidgin translation of c'est fini. C'est fini. So far, they have come up with this, jo fini, as in Jonathan, jo fini, Jonathan, jo fini. <laughs> In Nigeria, the presidential election is still three years away. But that has not stopped President Jonathan from launching his re-election campaign. Really? His slogan this time is simple. The Mugu you know is better than the Mugu you don't know. Mm. It, it might work. You know, Nigerians are known for insisting that their Mugu must repeat every class he failed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> In another bombshell interview, President Obama said that he made up the girlfriend he wrote about in his memoir. I could relate to that, or uh, how do you think I survived high school? Uh, and in fact, as a matter of fact, college. Right. A anyway, anyway, that is not as terrible as it may sound. While Obama made up his girlfriend, President Jonathan totally copied and pasted everything in his PhD thesis, including the acknowledgement and dedication. As for President Jonathan's girlfriend, he did not have any. Look at this, his old picture before he became good luck. Oh, yeah, that, that was him. Does that look like a man who got lucky with women? I, I don't think so. I don't think so. Anyway, the president is making up for the lean days. He's now surrounded by scores of women, two of whom are genuinely interested in him. <laughs> there is a rumor making rounds that President Jonathan has become an environmentalist. What? Yeah, oh, yeah, the rumor said that for the first time in his life, President Jonathan is planning to recycle something. He's planning to recycle all politicians in a cabinet reshuffle. Hey, wow. okay. I want to state that the rumor has no element of truth in it. No. Like Jonathan's spokesperson, Dr. Ruben Abati, said, the president is confident in the team he has in place. Uh, oh, yeah, very good team. <laughs> president Jonathan has vowed to continue to pursue his transformational agenda, which he made abundantly clear in this speech. You watch. The administration believes that the time has come for the nation to build on the moral foundation of the traditional school system by providing the Al-Majri with conventional knowledge and skills that will enable them to fully realize their creative and productive potential. A new study found that, that people cannot go 10 minutes without lying. What? I bet you these researchers did not speak to presidential spokesmen like Dr. Ruben Abati. Mm. If they did, they would have come up down to two minutes. 
<laughs> Nigeria's soccer legend, Rashidi Yekini, passed away last week. Oh. Yeah. The last days of his life were said to be lonely and painful. Mm. He was broke and broken. But since he died, millions of Naira in donations have been pouring into the family. Oh, yeah. Here are the list of broke and broken Nigerians, national heroes, who are begging God to let them die to draw the attention of Nigerians to their plights. Hmm. Number 10, Aton Zerebe. Oh. Number 9, Majek Fashek. Maja. Number 8, Innocent Ebunike. Oh, really? Number 7, Felix Liberty. Oh. Number 6, Jerry Ghana. Oh. Number 5, Chidi Imo. Oh. Number 4, Reverend Martin Luther King. Oh, number three, yeah. Clifford Oji. Hey. Number two, Baba Ghana Kingibe. The number one person begging God to kill her so that Nigerians can care for her plight is Gloria Okon. Oh, Meanwhile, at the House of Representatives, the chairwoman of the SEC, the Stock Exchange Commission, Mrs. Aroma Ote, was in trouble again. Huh? She okay. failed to appear before a House committee probing the capital market. It pissed off the chairman of the committee. Here is the chairman issuing a warning to Mrs. Ote. The contents of the letter to this committee has an aura of arrogance and looks down upon the integrity and authority of the National Assembly. The National Assembly is not under the control of the executive. It is an independent arm of the government duly recognized by the Constitution and acts in accordance with various sections of the Constitution. Mrs. Aruma Ote and all the commissioners of SEC are hereby ordered to appear before this committee by 10 a.m. tomorrow, 9th May 2012, unfailingly. Otherwise, we shall be compelled to invoke the necessary provisions of the law. Wow. wow that guy is oh, yeah, serious. Ooh. When she finally came, Aruma Ote opened fire on Ndi Okereke Onyoke. Uh, the two started throwing accusations on each other. Hey. Ndi Okereke accused Mrs. Aruma Ote of using SEC to extort money from the Nigerian stock market. Oh. Here is Mrs. Ote accusing Onyoke of wasting money on Rolex watches. You watch. The Nigerian Stock Exchange bought a yacht or should I say boat, for 37 million naira and wrote down the book value within one year by recognizing it in its books as a gift presented during its 2008 long service award. Yet, there are no records of the beneficiary. The stock exchange also spent 186 million naira on 165 Rolex wristwatches as gifts for awardees out of which only 73 were actually presented to the awardees. The outstanding 92 Rolex watches, valued at 99.5 million naira, remain unaccounted for. These were the kinds of financial imprudence that were perpetrated at the Nigerian Stock Exchange. As expected, wow. the two women could not agree. They decided to take it outside and settle it. Watch how they settle their differences. In business news, Facebook is going public next week. Finally, some smart people will become billionaires because you chose to post embarrassing pictures of yourself in public. <laughs> what going public means is that for $20 a day, wives can now see what their husbands post on Facebook. And for $40 a day, husbands can now see what their wives post on Facebook. Which goes to show that even on Facebook, men on a missionary journey are still on top. <laughs> what? What? I, I don't get that one. I don't, I don't get that one. <laughs> the daughter of the legendary musician, Bungos Ikwe, told a newspaper that her father met Mary and Babangida only once. 
Finally, she has put to rest the persistent rumor that Bongo's equals marriage to Miriam Babangeda lasted longer than Kim Kardashian's marriage. <laughs> she promised to explain how Babangeda snatched Miriam away from Bongo's equal in the next interview. <laughs> Things that men with guns do. <laughs> We finally saw the faces of the Colombian prostitutes who got Obama's SSS agents in trouble. In an interview with TV and radio stations, they said exactly the same thing that the woman who got this PDP chief naked said. Though these women live thousands of miles away, they all said that they felt used, abused, unappreciated, and unpaid. Yes. When President Jonathan heard that, his reaction was like, me too. <laughs> And I'll leave you with this story. You must have heard of a baby born in Lagos this week. The baby came out of the womb holding a miniature Quran in his, in his hand. The father of the baby ran away when the woman refused to abort the pregnancy. The Quran was neither wet nor bloody, despite the part it traveled. <laughs> Islamic scholars are now studying the Quran to see what is in and what is out. One scholar has already declared that through this baby, Allah has delivered an edited version of the Quran. Say what you think about this incident, but don't ever call it a proof that Boko Haram is now in Lagos. That is not cool. <laughs> Until next week, I am Dr. Damages. I diagnose. You heal yourself. Welcome to Fossville Luxury Hotel. At Fossville Luxury Hotel, we offer excellent service. Our rooms have all the necessary facilities to make your stay comfortable and memorable. You will also have access to internet service, breakfast, 24-hour power supply, full air condition, free international calls, free time pumping service, and free car battery charge. So what are you waiting for? Quickly visit Fossville Luxury Hotel. We are located as number one at the Linoba Michele off Raja Rasaki Road, First Estate, Amuwo, or the Finfestat Lagos. For more information or reservation, please call us on 080 75 or 080 99 90 You can also take advantage of our online ongoing promo at www.fossvhotel.com to make your reservation and payment for your favorite room, which attracts a discount rate. Please note, rooms are reserved based on first come, first serve. Fossvhotel experience the home of comfort. They come, they come.